manjik you ate guys <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is itabili ngobo and if you're new here welcome if you're a retaining subscriber oh welcome back my darling i love you so 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 much and if you haven't subscribed but you're loving this content Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. My name is Itabelo Ngobo and today I come with yet another story time, guys. <laughs> and this one is quite tricky. But nonetheless, let's get into it. And by now, you know that <laughs> you know you know how you know how we roll the site. Mm. Right. <laughs> in today's video i'm telling a story of betrayal and one thing about me guys i just don't tell stories i feel like my stories are there for you to like learn something i don't know what it is that you want to learn but I don't just tell my stories for the sake of telling them. I really hope that if, even if like there's one or two people out there who are learning something from them, like I really, really, really appreciate it. You know, I love to know that as much as maybe they're funny or maybe they're hurtful or whatever, but I, I really love to believe that there's some, a little, even if it's like the slightest form of education in them. I do not mind. Mm. Can we talk about my install? I, I did this hair. This is a story of betrayal. It has left me in a place where I don't know what to do or which side to choose. So, I back in 2011, I did my first year back in 2011. Back in 2011, I went to varsity and then I made new friends. And we were a group of girls. I think we were around, I think we were around eight. It was a big group. You all know how, you all know, like I don't need to explain about group friendships. We already know what's bound to happen in group friendships. But nonetheless, I was in a group friendship of around eight people, I think. Okay, how we became a group of eight friends was I came with my friend. Someone else came with their friend, you know, and then we all became friends. You understand? Yeah, that's how the group was formed because... We were even doing like different courses, but like, you know how when you keep I'm making an example, guys, this is an example. When you keep going to the, there's a famous, <laughs> there's a famous club by the gate, by the varsity gate there, where like we used to go and you know when there's familiar faces every time and then we realize that every time we'd go home, we go to the same res, you understand? Until I think one day we ended up going as a group and then the next outing, it was a planned outing where now there's all of us, you understand? That's how we became friends. Because technically, everybody was doing their own course, you understand? Yeah. We were the girls of these things, alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Shabke. So then, uh, as time went on, we had the the group tore apart. How the group tore apart is still men related. You understand? But I don't want to get into that one because I don't. I'm not sure if. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I will do a story time on it. But I feel like I don't want to do a story time on it because now we are no longer close unlike this other one you understand but it got to a point where um we were fighting <sighs> not fighting but like some were on this team some were on the other team and one thing about me guys is 
sometimes i'm not about morals and principles sometimes i'm about loyalty and i mean we'll talk about um morals and principles once like once there's the two of us or whatever once you know i have the best interests at heart of my friends of the people I understand, not even my friends, of the people I understand. So it doesn't matter what happens outside. I will fight outside. But then, you know, when we come in, like I'll raise my concerns. So, you know what? This was so unfair of you. I just did it because you're my friend. And, you know, loyalty, Jay, loyalty. Because let me say that when that friendship broke, I was on the team of the the loyal not the principled you understand i was on the on the team of um i can like I don't, I don't know how to explain this guys but like um i was on the stronger team the stronger team is the brave team the team with boldness the team of i can do it so what you know i was on that team bring it on so what you know it wasn't about whether i was on the right team or on the i i, I was definitely on the wrong team in terms of principles i hope i'm making sense so now that we understand that part i think this major fight came about when we were between second year third year you know and how the group broke because i said there was eight of us name there was five on the other team and then there was three on the other team i was three on the other team yeah and i think the sad part is the person whom who was who used to be my friend like the one whom we got into the group with she was on the other team and i was on this team and it's sad guys it's sad. <laughs> it's sad you know it's sad okay but nonetheless life goes on i mean as we grow up we realize we learn new things about ourselves like i love bold people i love I've, i realize this now that i'm a i'm probably a, a bold person and i love bold people and if you're not bold around me you will not like <laughs> you will know man i'm I'm not i'm not a person for the too shy too soft too what what ah man they bore me you can't be my friend and be too shy or be too yeah let's just say that i still do have i don't have shy friends i was about to lie mm, i don't shy me friends i'm probably the shy one <laughs> i'm probably the shy one like i love bold people maybe it's a bad character trait i don't know and it doesn't matter it's who i am and i love who i am okay sharp so but um i think i will say that the highlight of this breakup is that we even ended up being involved in a physical fight in varsity okay guys and when I tell you that, I don't know how to fight. It baffles me because <laughs> somehow there's always drama around me. And you'd expect me to know how to, you know, throw a punch or something. But shame. I... Yes. <laughs> one day is one day. And one day I will get beaten. Because I feel like I'm very, I'm, I'm very here when it comes to choosing sides, you know. <laughs> Every time I've had to choose sides and there was like fights involved because nah, I don't know, maybe it's the age we come from. I mean, the what? The, um, the age group that we came from, ne? which they would resolve things in fighting. I don't know, guys. I don't want to say that because, but I will say that I've been involved in two major fights. The other one was that of my workplace and this one of my varsity, you know. <laughs> but when I tell you, I don't know how to fight. It really, it baffles me how I'm always involved in these things. And I always come out winning. Or oh, I'm always on the winning team. Let me not say I always come out winning. I'm always on the winning team, you understand? Because, yeah, I'm always on the winning team. I know how to choose sides. Let's just say I know how to choose sides. So, okay, 
we ended up fighting like it was a major thing and then the friendship broke and then there was only three of us and this means like we pass each other like we don't know each other how how dramatic you know how dramatic varsity can be okay it was so dramatic we were so dramatic very very unnecessarily but it's fine it was our time it was our time sharply and then we graduated we all graduated and now there's three of us now i'm gonna talk about the three of us yeah? i would say this too because remember now when i joined this friendship i joined it with my friend ne? this two were friends you understand so basically now i lost my a friend i came in the group with and joined those two friends so basically let's say there were more friends than i was friends with them but like we were all friends and now personally i don't i i i don't mind Let's just say I don't mind. I'm not about, like, I can have two besties. You understand? I can have three besties. I can have seven besties, you know? Because we relate on different, um, yeah, we, we relate on different things. You understand? With different people. So you are, <laughs> although I don't have a friend now, I, 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 I do. But, like, I, I don't dwell on friendships much now. Sharp okay i think you get the nature and the picture of how the friendship came about i think i try i tried my best to 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 give the foundation of the friendship ne? Sha. so we graduate we graduate we ended up graduating all of us graduated and then we started working how lucky all of us started working but um now i need to give people names mm? let's call three three the group of three should i be the i'll be the beyonce of the group man and then we'll have michelle and then we'll have kelly Rowland. <laughs> so what happened was michelle michelle had a child okay let me think i want to see who i'm giving the right characters to you understand yeah michelle had a child and then yeah yeah let's just say michelle had a child and then life went on as life was going on michelle met some other rich guy very rich when i say rich i ain't paying i mean rich south african guy from venda venda limpopo tsonga one of those i don't know which one i'm not sure which one just like um in destiny's child michelle is a bit she's a bit she's hey i don't want to say vulnerable but like she's she's the soft-spoken one you understand she's very soft-spoken she's very um yeah she's the um, i don't want to say weaker vessel man but she's not so bold she's not bold she's not so brave okay but i mean yeah sharp so she meets this guy and their relationship goes on like it's a beautiful relationship and he's very rich this guy is very rich this guy even decides michelle must stop living at home and he rents a place for michelle so michelle goes to this place with the son and this guy is not even married guys you know when they say some people are like yeah so <laughs> michelle now rents and she's renting in a very very expensive apartment guys very expensive apartment in town ugai finishes the apartment like she's suddenly a rich girl okay she's suddenly a rich girl but you know what my problem with michelle is personally i always felt like michelle doesn't have boundaries you know michelle even with him like even yo even with how she will tell you a story 
like she gives you everything every detail you know michelle didn't have she lacked boundaries i didn't like that about her and to a point where i felt like when i would tell her something chances are it's gonna be known by other people and like we always we always had fights about that if you'd conflict we always had conflicts about that Hori. you know what your problem is you love talking about my business with your other friends and i don't like it you know i don't like it and i also don't like that uh like it's not even about me it's also about you you overshare you overshare and it's very unnecessary there's things that you cannot tell like you cannot filter filter she didn't have a filter <laughs> she didn't. michelle didn't have a filter when it comes to everybody like her life basically her life so you can imagine about us like she didn't have any filter even about our lives like there's things that i learned that this one cannot i cannot tell michelle this because you know what she's gonna tell the next person and i'm gonna be so heartbroken i'm, I'm gonna get mad at her i would rather not let her know about this one you know I, there's things now i have to keep to myself because who is michelle guys who is michelle sharp game so me and him we had um differences because of that and i remember at one point i was even like you know what now i'm gonna stop being your friend because now i know that everything that we get up to is gonna be known by the world and i'm now i have secrets in my life i want to have secrets for my life i don't want everybody to know my business okay i like honestly we used to fight about that with michelle so sharp i don't know how michelle took it but it would get in here and come out in here like it, it i i just practically never made sense to michelle okay but now i knew the kind of friend i have and i knew the things i would share with her and i know the things i wouldn't share with her you know and i think she taught me also that the things that are supposed to be mine and mine alone okay with her character i realized that in life there's gotta be things that are yours and yours alone you gotta have secrets that you take to the grave child okay <laughs> her relationship went on so obviously now everybody knows about her relationship it even gets to a point where um a guy asks her to go choose a car and we knew when she was gonna choose a car but i can't remember exactly what happened what made her not to go choose a car but not to her like i never gave up on michelle yes i told her that sometimes when you announce things quickly you attract um evil spirits bad spirits you know <laughs> and i think i don't know how she took it because she never said maybe i was jealous or anything i don't know how she took it but you know we spoke about it i was just like i'm so sorry my friend but i feel like now is sometimes you talk too soon you can't talk everything of yours too soon it is very very dangerous especially if you're telling everybody not to say that i wanted her to tell only me but i felt like <laughs> sharp like i can keep your secret i mean maybe me and one other or two other friends of yours but like not the whole nation you're oh michelle she told the whole nation that a guy has asked her to go pick a car okay shabke asna mona guys asna mona but it's a lesson to even you if you're an oversharer like that i man, it's wrong mm. witchcraft is not a brooms or muti or it's not only that even people's hearts even people's energies can set off your goals okay okay let me not start let's go back so michelle's thing doesn't end up happening ne? but uh, we're still going out it's the three of us we're still like having fun and i remember this one time like i think there were things that she was no longer telling me because i'd be like girl who else did you tell this like you know and 
I realized when we were out, when there was three of us, that there were conversations that they were heavy that I didn't know about. Well, sharp. They were talking. So Michelle was going on a cruise with Ube. I think they were going to Mozambique or something like that, you know. And as we were having these conversations, you understand. Um, now I'm in, but like, you know, the bigger part of the whole conversation is... I wasn't exactly sure what's going on and whatever. But, you know, I've always known that Kelly um, loves or envied Michelle's life. And I don't know if I'm using the right words, guys. Because Nami, I feel like I also envied her. But that <laughs> I envied her. Okay, let's just say her life would make anyone envious you know like she was so lucky but not envious in such a way that well for me in such a way that i would feel like i'd i'd want to replace her you understand i was envious in that like she is so lucky she is so blessed like yo i wish i could find a man like his you understand i don't know if i'm making sense you let me know if maybe you feel like that was bad energy also from me but uh kelly was also very like kelly was pushing you know she was pushing so now i was in a stable relationship kelly was pushing her um michelle must convince a guy to find her a similar like someone like yours you understand yeah kelly 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 Rowland's thing was find me a man like yours you understand and i don't know how that went or anything because like i'm saying when it came to that like i had no interest because mina i had a serious relationship you understand mm -hmm. <laughs> so i don't even know how it got to this or yeah i don't know how it happened but Michelle was going on another trip with Umunduake on, on a cruise, actually. She was going on a cruise with Umunduake and they were going with Kelly Rowland. You understand? And I was so bitter about it. Like, you guys planned this thing and you decided to leave me out. Why? You understand? And Michelle's excuse was it's because now this whole trip is paid for by so if on the next one not if on the next one i will join them on the next one he can only afford to pay for one person one friend at a time so because this one we have more like an emergency she has to meet someone and whatever she is going along with them you understand and yeah i was bitter but yeah sharp i was staying behind you know mm. And they left and they flew to Durban and then when well, they got to Durban now things changed and I'm not saying it in a bloating manner I don't like how that came out things changed <laughs> okay but like when they got to Durban things changed so Hey guys, Umundua Michelle did not bring a plus one because it seems like as they were planning the trip, like they had a group now, you understand. They were now having conversations outside of Michelle. So Kelly Rowland now starts sending um nude pictures flirting so i think ogai enjoyed all of this this whole thing because from the way they were talking about it it it, it seemed like no um michelle kelly Rowland. kelly Rowland was supposed to meet someone who is Umuntua, Michelle's friend. Let's give him a name, an eye icon. Um, Ubud Madlisa. <laughs> no, sounds wrong. 
Um, 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 let's call him Mozipe. So, Mozipe and Kelly Rowland now are flirting to a point where now Mozipe is no longer. I don't know if initially he was really going to invite his friend or whatever, I'm not sure, but now there's no more. It, another person it's the three of them so they left they left and then when they got on the cruise and the blood was boiling obviously you know when the blood is boiling between kelly Rowland and mozipi you understand that blood was boiling so they ended up doing what boiling bloods do you understand <laughs> and a girl noticed a change in in Muzipe. Let me not forget, Guti, this guy is Muzipe, 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 Muzipe. A girl noticed a change in Muzipe and a change in Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland now started being mean. She started being mean towards her on the cruise, a week long cruise. Okay. <laughs> sharp to a point where i think i think this happened on the first day that they arrived at the cruise and then on the second day like mutsipe was very he was very like he was he was not having it with michelle like he was out you know when yeah sorry guys he had switched totally on michelle like he didn't want anything to do with Michelle. And now, like, she's surprised. And, oh, Kelly Rowland is just like, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about the friendship. Like, one more give her. One more give her, guys. One more give her when this one is trying to, like, no, like, I want to understand what's going on between you and my man because now you guys are going clubbing. You guys are doing what, what um, on the cruise without me. What's going on? And, oh, no, I know her. Kelly Rowland is just like, listen, I'm here for fun. Don't bother me. This is bothersome for me. Like, I can't do it can't handle this and she felt defeated now she was crying throughout the cruise like you can imagine it was the most miserable cruise of her life and then they came back when they came back <laughs> oh kelly Rowland tells mutsipi not to fly her with michelle because obviously a eh, whatever like it's not gonna be fine it's not she would really love to fly alone with him indeed he did that and like my durban story of me taking a bus back to lesotho guess what mm, you guessed right mm. Michelle took a bus back home. Well, you know, at least she was lucky because this guy paid for the bus. Michelle took a bus back home. Now, the minute Michelle gets home, she calls me, come to my house, blah, blah, blah. I need to talk. She's crying, whatever, whatever. And then I went. I went to her house. And then she starts telling me all of the thing. Hey, well, now I'm so short. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm shocked, but like, I know that Kelly Rowland is capable of that. I mean, she's done it before. Like, I know she's capable of it. Okay. But at the same time, I'm like, to Michelle, but you brought this on yourself. You understand? And Michelle now starts insinuating. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't Maybe she's right. I, I don't know. She starts insinuating, Gute, um... She feels like, oh, Kelly Rowland used underground technology, you know, Brumar. <laughs> and we are crying, guys. You see, I'm laughing today. You see, I'm laughing like it's a joke. We were crying, like we were crying, like 
I was in disbelief. We, we cried. Like, I've never cried so bad for someone who doesn't even benefit me. You understand? But she was benefiting my friend. You understand? Oh, we cried. We cried. And then Ugo came back. When Ugo came back, nah, you yeah, guys, she gets a new apartment, new, like, new everything. And uh, yeah, nah, hey, on top of it, she even got the car. Yes. Mm. That car, she got the car, guys. And now she was dating U Mutsipe. Why am I forgetting his name? She started dating Mutsipe and like she was at a point where she didn't care about what we say. What because I remember I made efforts to like listen, I really not need to talk to you. Like what you did to Michelle, and she was just like, just don't bore me, you know. and that's how the friendship ended oh it didn't end the friendship hasn't ended between me and the both of them but it's no longer as tight obviously but what happened to michelle michelle had to move out out of an expensive apartment and move into an apartment she could afford she still has obviously like things don't things don't sorry things don't go like you you don't get what's the right word to use i don't want to say poor but like things don't just go down immediately you understand but yes obviously things went down things went down a lot like her lifestyle everything depression like every like i don't know if she'll ever recover i don't know if she will ever recover i hope she recovers we we'll still check her from time to time she's not doing okay and more so because now um kelly Rowland is getting married guys <laughs> kelly Rowland is getting married i'm invited to the wedding and i'm not, i don't know how to i don't know um morally i know who's wrong okay but i also feel like nay michelle we spoke about this before it even happened and so I really want to feel her pain, but I can't really, really, really feel her pain because somehow in my heart, I feel like she brought this onto herself because of she lacks boundaries. And I hope you're watching, Michelle. And I know I've always told you this. You lack boundaries. That's your problem. As for Kelly Rowland, what you did it's wrong it's wrong guys it's wrong but if she had to choose herself and the next person she chose herself she chose her happiness she she put herself first she knew what she was doing in fact not she she knows what she was doing another thing is i have mixed emotions about this whole situation situation because i mean it's not the first situation of this nature where a friend introduces you to her boyfriend and and then they end up being with the boyfriend and sometimes i think yo it's so heavy sometimes i feel like if they were meant to be guys they were meant to be maybe where now you were the channel that had to bring these two people together. Otherwise, they wouldn't have known each other. Because if anything, Muntipa is very happy. Very, very, very happy. They treat each other so well. Their relationship is so... <sighs> I'm envious of it again. <laughs> I'm envious of their relationship again. But I will tell you, they look like soulmates. They 
they look like soulmates so now i want you guys to tell me tell me who are we judging who are we judging in this situation are we judging kelly Rowland for choosing herself for choosing the lifestyle that she felt she deserved for because also this man this man chose her like we don't know what the future holds for them but like he chose her and if anything it's been years it's been years of their relationship yes they're getting married this year december but it's been years of the happily ever after on the other hand michelle has been she was not okay Shem. i don't even want to get into it <sighs> but she knows how i feel so now tell me what do you think guys and also mina as the beyonce <laughs> what would you do now i'm going to the i want to go to the wedding because those two people are my friends and i won't even lie in the beginning of this whole situation i was with michelle i stood by michelle but i think i came to the realization that like there's no point like we're crying over spilled milk am i a bad friend and also am i a lukewarm friend like because I'm in between. And I don't even want any one of them talking about the other to me because this were friends before I was their friend. Those two people were friends before I was their friend. And I love them both. I have um, unique relationships with each of them. And I'm not, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to judge, you know, Kelly Rowland was, she was there for me during like my hardest times. Obviously, Michelle could not be there for me, like how Kelly Rowland could be there for me because of, um, she's been, she hasn't been okay ever since. What would you do? If you were me. Or. Um, in fact. Give your thoughts. About this whole situation. And give your thoughts. Right. Kelly Rowley. She's untouchable guys. She's very untouchable. She's made it. She's. She, hey. And I'm sure it's so hard. For Michelle. Watching Kelly Rowland. Leave her life. Because she always felt like. Kelly was leading her life. And that's... Hmm? I have never been... I've never felt so defeated in a situation. Like, I'm a very decisive person and whatever. But listen, I understand both of them. And I'm sure I'm wrong for understanding both of them because... Loyalty is choosing your side. Mm. Loyalty is choosing your side. But in any case, I asked the both of them if I could do a story time on them without, well, I didn't discuss it with both of them at the same time, but like I asked one, can I can I do a story time about the situation? And she said yes. And then I asked the other one, can I do a story time about the situation on my YouTube? And they both agreed. So I don't know. I hope I didn't offend anyone. And if I did, I'm sorry. But it is what it is. Please let me know what your thoughts are regarding this situation of my friends whom i loved so much like both of them whom i love actually not love i love both of them yeah 
and yeah in any case i hope you guys enjoyed the story time i hope it will do something in your i don't know i don't know it's one situation which doesn't make me sleep well at night and i'm sure they're gonna be both mad at me for finding out that they both agreed and i did a story time on both of them <laughs> but i'm sorry my friendships i'm really sorry but you said i must go ahead so yeah i really want i think i'm putting it out here so that um you can judge for yourself because now nah, i'm probably not judging correctly because i'm fond of both of them you know but i'm sure that when they see other people's comments like neutral people who don't know them i think bonahe they'll get to find the truth of the situation you know because oh guys i'm i'm defeated i'm very very defeated and yeah please feel free to say what your opinion is it's not even more about me nah, forget about me i'll make a decision okay there's no decision to be made but like i will see what you guys have to say about this whole situation you know and they will also see for themselves where each of them went wrong or where they were right or whatever i don't know but i would really love your input because i know they're going to watch the story time and they deserve a referee not me i mean i'm a very poor referee because i come with my emotions so they need a neutral referee mina i'm a traitor to both of them it's fine <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and it was not easy telling the story mm, obviously i couldn't like because so many people know about the situation or yeah i feel like there's people who know and if you know who i'm talking about guys please do not say who it is please try to stay as neutral as you possibly can so that we respect them because i respect them for allowing me to tell the story thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you again in the next story time bye <laughs>